Oh, so you want me to take take this off? I mean, not until they give us enough coins, big boy. I need those bits, baby. Oh man! Oh, someone just delivered a big one. Woo! Here we go. That means we gotta do it. What's up, everyone? We are still clothed. Yes. Uh, welcome to the horror show. I'm Cecil Laird. Sorry to disappoint. I'm humming for you. <laughs> <laughs> disappoint. Very glad, I'm sure. No! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, guys, we are here to review Cam, Ooh. a recent release to Netflix that has a bit of a history. Um, um, and his you're, you're aware about it, right? Um, um, to some was, degree. Uh, I know it was written by a former Cam girl. Right. Uh, Much yeah. in the vein that Juno was written by a former stripper, right? Diablo Cody. Diablo Cody. Yeah, um, her and... movie Tully is awesome, by the way. <laughs> oh, really? That's her? I yeah. didn't even realize. Yeah, her and Jason Reitman again. Anyway! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so this is, uh, as Fuego said, written by a uh, ex-Cam girl. And I think uh, that uh, we're going to do this review like usual, do our overall thoughts on the story, the acting, the effects, all that good stuff in turn. Yeah. So why don't you give your overall thoughts? F you know what? Let me give my overall yeah, thoughts. You can first tell me hesitating. <laughs> uh, yeah. I actually, I did like it. I felt like the end left a bit to be desired. Lou said the same thing, dude. Yeah. But I, I did enjoy thing. it, and I thought much in the way that Unfriended um, was a, was a very good presentation of a horror film done a little bit differently. The original one or the one we saw this year, the dark web? It doesn't web matter. They're both filmed the same way from the laptop point of view. Oh, what from you, what that. You okay. Uh, I thought you were talking tone. Oh. No, no, no. Um, so this one, while not, you know, chained to like a laptop because it's a cam girl, uh, it, it does stay in a particular lane, um, and it uses that stuff uh, to a certain degree later in the movie, but I just, I overall, I, I enjoyed it. While it could have been better, I did definitely enjoy it for what it was. I liked it well enough. I guess I'm very similar to you in the fact that I'd say like you know solid like three star kind of thing. Nothing that wowed me. In all honesty, Blumhouse, with the exception of the Truth or Dare that I hated this year, um, they really they they always put their horses behind something that's you know often interesting and a little bit. A little bit different. Um, I, I thought the girl's performance was awesome. I thought that was maybe the scene stealer of the entirety of it, especially when she starts playing dueling roles with her doppelganger and all that. So I thought that was good. Um, the story just didn't really feel... It, it was very much trying to be like a Black Mirror kind of thing in my estimation. Mm -hmm. And it succeeded for the most part, but uh, I, I, I did like the twist where okay. you know, she rises in the ranks and everything and then yeah. the other performer she's working with when you find out what the deal is with that person i was just like ooh, interesting but I, I didn't feel like they gave enough explanation as to how what we're seeing on screen is even possible, possible right? which yeah. was my biggest gripe with this movie so yeah there's 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 too much left unexplained mm -hmm. but the execution is very is good very it's good a slick and, movie. <laughs> and listen i'm a red-blooded american male and all I'm going to say is if you watch this with uh, any sort of companion that might be jealous. Did you uh, watch it? They with a, no, uh... no, no. <laughs> but uh, I feel like there could be a lot of instances that jealous significant others would be watching you and what, what your eyes are and looking your at more than that. the movie itself. Because yeah. there's... This culture is real, yo. This culture is real. Very there's, real. There's lots of nudity in this movie. Yeah, I, and honestly for me, I was... I was turned off by it because I'm well, not, it, I'm I mean, not, and no, but I, I'm perhaps my religious way, yeah. upbringing, whatever, you know, Aww. it's, it's so funny, man, because when I was talking with, with Luis about this movie, he's like, I have, I, I know girls who do this for a living and stuff like that. He follows a lot of them and whatnot. And I was just, I, I'm so turned off by the profession, man. I feel like it makes women less attractive to me if they sell themselves yeah. in this sort of manner. I mean, it's it's the same That's as like a form of prostitution, right. and you know, or a stripper or whatever. It's the same kind of thing. It's using her assets. It's it's no. It's using her assets. Personal opinion. No, look, you're not going to change my she's, mind. She's I'm, okay, she's but really let me pretty. present the opposing argument. Please. She's using her assets in much at, the same way at, that a very strong man that could lift a bunch of things might do so at a more manual labor kind of thing, 
or a person with a I don't large and developed brain could go to NASA and things like that. I don't think it's the same. But <laughs> <laughs> that that's you got to be careful that it's not. I could give two shits who I offend. This is my opinion. So. No, I know. <laughs> it's just the problem is it can come off as a little superior. Like no, because there's there's nothing wrong with them choosing to. I don't know. I, yeah, no, that's you're not that, that, me otherwise. they're <laughs> not going to go. We're not getting anywhere with that. So. Yeah. Sorry. Um, anyway, I did not have a problem with that. I I, I feel like, uh, as I said, it might be a bit distracting at times, the, the sheer amount of it. But honestly, it was an accurate representation of, oh, very accurate. of what they were presenting. And so. not just the girls, but the guys into it, too, because of the fact that how many times in the movie did these guys who are on video chats with her and all this other stuff, they'd like hang up like right away because their significant others are showing yeah. up or their parents or roommates or whatever. And they're ashamed of what they're doing or they have something to hide. You know, sure. and, and so it's, that's tough to see. And I mean, yeah. I have I have friends whose marriages have ended over things like this. You know, it's like it's like, hey, man, I mean, well, but obviously it's not glorifying it. The no, movie isn't not at all. Glorifying it, not at so. all. But it's just it, it's it's a rough subject matter sometimes. I don't know. But bottom line, I, I did think it was a pretty accurate representation. And the thriller aspect, with the exception of the resolution, I thought was pretty on point. Yeah. And so, should we talk about story then? Uh, or have yeah, we already, I guess so. No, have I already mean, said enough? The long and short of it is, yeah, I mean, there's a cam girl that's trying to rise Lola. in the ranks. Real name and Alice. She does some extreme things, extreme things to which I thought was dope. Uh, to get audience and um, bring and that it top works. fifty. Yeah, and that's where some of the horror aspect comes in. Like at one point, she and this is in the trailer, she pretends to slit her throat, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and like gore comes out and everything, and that's part of her act. So it's it's a really interesting setup, uh, and then basically she one, after she's cracked the top fifty. And as she's figuring out exactly what she can do to stand out, um, she wakes up one morning and can't get into her account. And she sees that uh, another girl that looks very much like her is on her feed doing, um, you know, similar acts to hers. Mm -hmm. And so the rest of the movie is her trying to figure it out where it becomes now... Now it's just literally a, a stolen identity movie, mm -hmm. except done in Hitchcock a cam girl world. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, exactly that that is the long and short short of the story, and I I thought it it worked well enough um, as a story, mm -hmm. but I think as we mentioned, there was too much that was left unexplained that yeah. would have solidified it as a really cool movie had it been done in such a way that they could have explained it. Truly, yeah. Um, some of the little touches that I did appreciate were um, her kind of hiding it from her family and then the the younger brother knows what she's doing the mom does not and the younger brother with his friends at the birthday party that whole blow up i thought that scene was well scripted yeah. and interesting and the mom's kind of acceptance of everything was surprising but kind of made sense uh, i also like the the way they approach the rivalry aspect between the girls and the fact that when she breaks the top 50 that chick princess is immediately like do you want me to strip you need to make sure that she falls in the rankings lola needs to fall in the rankings and i'll take my clothes off and so yeah. just that that competitive bitchery of sorts i thought was was interesting and so i mean it, it did feel like it was an inside look at the world and did have that authenticity and felt pretty pretty genuine to me. So, yeah. yeah, I thought it was well, well, well scripted until the end, once again, as we've <laughs> said a few times now. So. Now, the acting, uh, you know, for the most part, I thought it was okay. The, the main girl was good. I yeah. thought um, that, you know, there were a couple of things that just kind of were skeevy. I thought all the guys were really skeevy, Every honestly. single one. <laughs> so that was a, a bit of a bummer that you can't represent at least one kind of nice guy. It's it's all skeevy dudes that want something else. And none of them... But he, I guess I mean, involved in the cam culture, that maybe is all you'd encounter. I don't know. None of them. I, I would imagine there's good looking dudes who are like sex addicts watching sure. cam girls yeah, and well, stuff. And so that, that wasn't represented here. It was all like the the elderly and, you know, like weird creepo balding fat guys and stuff like that. I mean, like the... Uh, I, I can't remember the character's name, the one who takes her to dinner and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he knew the baby chick and he's like, oh yeah, I'd been out to her house before and whatnot. Yep, and so, yep. yeah, I, I still really did dig that twist with her and yet I want, and anyway, yeah. Well, um, then uh, the effects, again, let's, let's talk about some of the effects. There were a couple, but we're not going to talk about necessarily all of them because we want you guys to go and watch the movie to, to see them yourself if you're interested. But yeah, like I said, the, the throat slashing um, that was in the trailer, that's done very well. Yeah. 
and um, the other effects that we get are are done equally well, I thought. Yeah. So it's not a huge a huge point, but I mean, you could also consider the uh, the way that they present the final scene sort of a digital effect as well. To a degree. Uh, yeah. yeah, to a degree. So yeah. I, I mean, they and were I done like well the enough. and I like the, the the lighting and the setup of everything. I thought was well done and. You know the the set building, I guess, was was cool. All of the different minimalistic, but truly appropriate. But, yeah, but just the, all the all the different approaches to cam girling that you see when she's cycling through all the different feeds and stuff. And there's chicks covering themselves in glitter. There's just sitting naked reading. There's like the girls slapping each other's butts. There was just so much. I had different strokes for different folks. There's mm -hmm. kinks for everybody, and you see a myriad of different things in this. Different strokes at, at, different. Folks, wait, yeah. different folks with different strokes. Something is what like I that. Said. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, but, yeah. I mean, that those sort of touches did show that uh, they there was a lot of thought and authenticity, like I said earlier. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, overall, there wasn't really. I guess there was a music track and there was sound design too, but mm. nothing that really particularly stood out in this instance. No, not so much. I, I was hoping she was going to click on Spice World like she saw <laughs> in her playlist, and it never happened! <laughs> anyway. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to do it, I think, for our review of this one. Um, any, Stephen, any final thoughts? Stephen King was tweeting about how much he loved this movie, and anytime King does that, my expectations... Temper. Perhaps get a little higher. <laughs> you got to temper so. them, though. I try. Even I he try. is fallible. Uh, oh, so I can. <laughs> but anyway. that's going to do it for our review of Cam. Uh, let us know in the comments down below what did you guys think of this one or have you not seen it yet. Uh, we did keep it spoiler free for you so you can watch it. It is available currently on Netflix. Yeah. I'd be curious to get uh, y'all's opinion. So uh. let us know in the comments down below what you think or if you are or are not going to watch it and why. Until next time, though, I've been Cecil Laird. Gracias. I've been Jaime Fuego. And remember, stay scared. Yep.